What's up guys, it's Moj here with Golden Motor. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys the Intuition display that's brand new to the CYC Photon Gen 2. Let's dive into it. Okay, so turn on the display, you press the button at the bottom and you press it down for three seconds and then the CYC logo will pop up. I have a password set on it, which I will show you how to do. On the buttons, there's an up, down button and then a menu button in the middle. So the menu button also has a select button. I'm gonna put the password in. So I'm just navigating to the, to the number I wanna to go to and then clicking the menu button and then confirm. So now we're in the main display mode. There's three different display modes. This is the first one, which shows the voltage of the battery, the time in 24 hour clock, the speed, which mode it is in. There's street mode and race mode and the level you're in. The second one, is you change the display mode by just pressing menu, the M button. So this is the second one. It shows you miles per hour, battery, your level. It shows your ride time, the ride mileage, average speed, and which mode you're in, race or street. It shows the RPM of the motor and the wattage is putting out, the, and also the heartbeat sensor, which is a new feature on the Intuition display. The third screen is more detailed. It has miles per hour, it has the motor RPM, the motor torque, it has the mode, race mode or street mode, the power level, how much power is being outputted, the voltage, and you also, once you get going, you also see the power here as well, the controller temperature and the motor temperature. Also on the screen, I'm gonna put up the size of the screen and the dimensions of the Intuition display. And now I'm gonna show you guys the different options and settings menu. So you just hold down the menu button and it'll take you to this screen. The first one is return. So if you press this, it'll just put you back in display mode. If you go back, the first option is race mode or street mode. So this is where you change that. You can enter race mode or street mode. Just click on the M button and it'll switch it for you. Next is brightness. Uh, it's on level five right now and which is super bright. So even in like sunny, uh, when it's like fully sunny outside, you will be able to see your screen. It's very easy. You just go up and down and select your level. Next is settings. So in settings, first one is obviously return, which will bring you back to the last menu, battery. So in battery, the first option is series. You just select your voltage. There's a 52 volt battery, which is a 14 series battery. So you just select that and you're good to go. Battery units here, you can pick either you want to display in voltage or percentage. You can select either or that you're comfortable with. Next is bike setup. So in bike setup, this is where you can select a metric or imperial. This is where you select miles per hour or kilometers per hour. Metric would be the kilometers and imperial would be the miles per hour. Next is assist level. Here you can pick between three, five or nine assist level. I like to have my options open so, and I like a wider range of assist levels so I have it at set at nine. Next is the wheel size. Just select the wheel that's on your bike. For example, this one has a 29er. So uh, I have 29 selected. If it was on like, for example, 26, the speed, uh, the speedometer is gonna be off. So just select the size that your wheel is. So leave that at 29. Next is auto off. So this is basically the amount of time you want the system to stay on for after you stop using it. So you can select the time. I have it at three minutes. I'll probably have it at like one minute. It's very easy to open if it does close. So I have it at one minute now. Turn. So we have our bike set up. Now we go into the clock mode. I'm not sure why they have the brightness set up in here, but so this is the auto brightness. So I have it toggled off, so I want it to be like fully bright at all times. You can select bright in brightness levels for daytime and nighttime. So nighttime is at three and daytime is at five. And then you can schedule what kind of, what's daytime and nighttime. So once you have your auto brightness set up, you can get into the clock reset. This is where you set up if you want a 24 hour clock or a 12 hour clock, date and time. Now the system settings. This is the user manual. If you scan the QR code, you should be able to get to it. But CYC does not have this up yet, but eventually they will. 
This is where you factory reset the system. You just put in your password and it'll allow you to factory reset it. But I don't do that yet. So I'm gonna go back out. And then the system info. This is the serial number, the firmware, and the hardware version. Okay, so that's the system settings. And then now we get to the password. So we can remove the password or put the password on. So I'm gonna remove it for now. So I'll show you guys what it looks like. Remove. Uh, settings and set password. So it's gonna look like this and then you just go in there and set your password. So password saved, it's that simple. And the next is connectivity. All right, so this one's interesting. There's a couple different ways to connect to the Intuition display. So you go into the connectivity settings. First one is find my network. So you go into your Apple find my app, select on add other item. And then on here you activate confirm. So it's activating and it's gonna search on your app and I found the bike on here emoji that looks good so it's that simple and then you're on your find my so you can see the bike at the warehouse next is heart rate sensor so for this one I don't have a heart rate sensor on my wrist or anywhere but all you have to do is click on there and confirm it and connect it to your Apple watch or anything that can read your heart rate sensor this level right here so it'll display your heart sensor once you have that on your wrist and set up okay so that's it for the settings uh, let's go to the next option which is trip so this is where you get all your information on your current trip this is the duration, the dis duration, distance, average speed. This is the maximum speed. This is the average human power. This is the max human power, the average RPM, average motor power. So this is the average RPM for human power and that's ones for motor power. This is if you have a heart sensor on, so it'll, it'll detect which zones you had the heartbeat in the most. Then you can end your trip here and, and start a new trip and your trip history. So I haven't ended any trips yet, so that's why you don't see anything there. Another very interesting feature on the Intuition display is the Smart Assist. So basically it assists you based on your heartbeat level or your, how much power you wanna be putting out. So for example, let's try the heart rate. So in this one, when I, you see right here, beats per minute is zero. So if I go into zone one, it'll go to 110 beats and then 135 and zone three will be 160 beats per minute so it's going to try to give you the amount of power that you need to keep at that beats per minute which is fascinating you can also end it and then we go back in there and you can also base it on power or human power so this one we're in zone three or zone one would be 100 watts that you know on, on your human pedaling you should be putting out 100 watts two zone two is 250 watts zone three is 350 watts so this is a very cool feature i might do another video testing this out fully so that does it for the settings and the options a couple of other things are if you hold the top button down you'll see a little light pop up so it, cyc doesn't have this yet but maybe they're going to introduce this in the future i'm not sure uh, maybe they'll have an integrated light into the system i don't know and then if you hold the down button down it'll go into walk mode it's on a stand so i don't want to do that now but if you hold it down for like five seconds it'll go into walk mode which is basically one mile per hour or basically walking speed and you can you know if you're taking the bike uphill or something like that it'll just assist you go uphill so that does it for today's video. Leave us a comment. Let us know what else you'd like to see on the CYC Photon Gen 2. And we'll see you guys next time.